the dramaturgical approach it's broken down into two parts it's broken down into a front stage and a backstage and the front stage is essentially a performance that you put on in a social setting and the backstage is a place where you can just be yourself and the act is over so the tool that we use to make ourselves presentable on the front stage and to look appealing is called impression management and impression management is really our attempt to control how others see us and this makes sense because we want to be viewed in a positive way by those around us so there are many different social situations that require different scripts from you as an actor and so there are multiple front stages and you have to play a different role every time so let's start a story with our guy over here who's already on this front stage he's already pretended to like baseball to gain friends to go to a game with him but there's been other front stages in his life so let's take a look at a few so maybe earlier in his life he was the captain of a football team and this required him to get everyone fired up for the game he had to get his troops ready and he had to lead the team to victory but that was during the week at his school so then maybe he goes on the weekends and he volunteers at a hospital and he works in patient transport so he's wheeling patients around and taking them out when it's time for them to go home and this is a this is a very different stage than his previous one because now his main job is to sort of be there for the patients and to comfort them and understand their situation and just really offer them any help that he can as a volunteer so this is very different than his first situation but then maybe after he's done volunteering at the hospital he goes to school after the weekend to visit a professor and maybe his chemistry professor is very well connected and she knows a lot of people and he has his eye on a particular school that he wants to get into and he needs a letter of recommendation so the chemistry professor can really offer him that letter of recommendation and if he can manage to get it maybe he has a much better chance of getting into that graduate school so he pretends to be interested in her research and goes and does research with her even though maybe he doesn't like it at all but he acts interested because he wants to give that impression to the teacher he says hey I'm really interested in research I'm very curious student and then at the end really his plan the whole time is to just get that letter of recommendation and after that he's really really excited because he finally worked up the courage and he asked out a girl that he's had a crush on for a long time you know he's he's really been working up the courage and he finally did it and for some reason she said yes and he sort of panicked and he doesn't know what to do but he does his best you know he gets her some flowers he's gonna pay for dinner he'll open the door he'll greet her at the door shake her father's hand he's very traditional he's very excited but he's nervous so he goes ahead and he gets her the flower and he wants to put on his best face you know he wants to put his the best version of himself out there that he can so that's a that's a big thing there he's gonna want to brush his teeth he's gonna want to take a shower and the big takeaway here is look there are multiple front stages here and they all require a different script and this backstage that's a completely different area there's one backstage and that's a very private area of his life that probably only a few people really know about that are very close to him so in the backstage this is really where you work on your impression management that's where it's all tied together so here maybe people you know they put on makeup they look at themselves in the mirror they try on a lot of different outfits before going out and hanging out with their friends because they want to look okay and they this is all done in the backstage so you can really think of the backstage as sort of like your training area your dojo for impression management and then you use that impression management in the many different social situations in your life and that's a very interesting thought so that is how impression management relates to the front stage and the backstage